Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC with Ryu Jinx. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, yesterday we went over Yuzu's progress report, the other Switch emulator on PC, and today we have Ryu Jinx. Now, Ryu Jinx, just like Yuzu, keeps getting better and better. And this progress report we're going to go over at a high level. If you want to check it out in detail, I'll leave a link in the description below. Now we have gone over some of these improvements in previous videos, but first up here is the Vulkan GPU backend, which is still in progress. If you want to check it out, there is a link and you can download it. The whole purpose of it is to help out AMD users. Next up here, ARB shaders are almost complete. When they are complete, you shouldn't really have much stuttering for your first playthrough of a game. And they do have a Patreon tier here for $2,000 a month. That $2,000 a month will get us texture packs and replacement capabilities. And they anticipate that happening three to four weeks after they meet that Patreon goal. If we take a quick peek at their Patreon page, they're at $1,966 a month. So they are almost there. In addition to that, at $2,500 a month, they'll hire a full-time developer. And at $5,000 a month, they'll get an additional full-time developer. I'm assuming once these tiers are hit, improvements and optimizations will probably excel at a pretty fast pace. Next up here, this is Pokemon Legends Arceus before, but thanks to some shader improvements from GDK Chan, this is Pokemon Legends Arceus after. It looks a heck of a lot better. If you've got an AMD GPU, your performance still might not be that great but at least you'll be able to see what's going on. Now, thanks to even more improvements, here is WarioWare Get It Together before, and this is after. We can see the addition of some trees, some logs in the front, or stumps rather, and the entire picture looks overall a lot better, a lot more accurate. There was also some buffer fixes, which fixed games like Super Mario Galaxy. Well, the initial loading anyway. Here is before, and this is after. They even got some texture improvements, so here is Super Mario Galaxy before, and you can't really see what's going on too well because everything appears to be a little bit broken. And there's after. The Ryu Jinx team was also able to improve deinterlacing, and they had a huge win here thanks to GDK Chan in terms of OpenGL. Previously, there were a bunch of games that were broken, and afterwards, well, things started to look a heck of a lot better. Behind the scenes here, there were some improvements to the CPU recompiler. As an end user, as a gamer, you probably won't notice much of a difference. But as a coder, this really cleans things up and makes Ryu Jinx a lot better. There were also some improvements to the audio renderer, and this you will notice as an end user, as a gamer here. Games like Mononoke Slashdown and Paper Mario Origami King would crash on boot, and now they shouldn't. Now, Nintendo seems to be pretty hellbent on making Animal Crossing New Horizons a nightmare to emulate, but the Ryu Jinx team is pretty persistent here and the game still works. In addition to that, there were some fixes implemented to continue to make Splatoon 2 playable, as well as Dot .hack. And previously, there was a pretty big issue with Fire Emblem Three Houses, and Ryu Jinx has now fixed those FPS drops. Moving on to the Steam Deck. If you're one of the lucky ones who already have one, or you're getting one in the near future, or even in the far future, Ryu Jinx is now incredibly easy to install on it thanks to its availability on Flathub. This is a major accomplishment for the Ryu Jinx team. If you have a Steam Deck, check it out. In addition to all of that, there were still more bug fixes and improvements. Stuff like mods can now be loaded from the emulated SD card. I do recommend checking out this progress report. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I ran a poll on the community tab on this YouTube page. I wanted to find out what you're using for Switch emulation on PC. Is it Yuzu or Ryu Jinx? And overwhelmingly here, everybody chose Yuzu, and I was really surprised about that. I probably should have had another option on here that said both, because that would be my recommendation. A lot of people do use Yuzu, but it appears that a lot of people don't use Ryu Jinx. And I would say this, they're both absolutely free. They're both great and you should definitely be checking out both of them. If a game's not running great in Yuzu, it might run great in Ryu Jinx. If a game's not running great in Ryu Jinx, it might run great in Yuzu. You might as well have both emulators and benefit from both of them. Seriously, folks, if you haven't already, try out Ryu Jinx. It's definitely worth your while. Anyways, that's all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC in the comments below. 
Let me know your thoughts about this Ryu Jinx progress report in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.